Well, the sky changed a little bit today, but all in all, a beautiful Saturday across the area. If you woke up early enough, you noticed there was some fog out there, but the sun quickly came out. We had some dark clouds for the afternoon, even a couple of scattered downpours, but all in all, like I said, a nice summer day. Up to 83 for the high. The average is 79, so just a touch above where we typically are this time of year, but way warmer than we were this past week. There's no doubting that. The summer weather will continue for the weekend. Another day in the 80s for Sunday, but notice this little weather system skirting down backwards along the east coast. That will bring us a slightly better chance for a couple of thunderstorms for the afternoon. This does not mean your day is going to be a washout. Most of the day will be dry, but after 3 o'clock, we will have to watch for at least a couple of scattered showers and thunderstorms, some of which could put down some really heavy rain, so be prepared for that. Might last about an hour or two in any area. As we go into Monday, a little bit drier, a little cooler as well. We'll kick back into the 70s rather than 80s. For tonight, it's muggy, partly cloudy, 64 for your low, and there will be more fog forming again starting out your early Sunday. Going into Sunday afternoon, that is the time to watch the sky and really hone in on your News 2 radar app. Use that interactive radar to find where you are, where the storms are, and you'll be able to know where they're going. Keep in mind the humidity will be up. It is sticky now. It will stay that way all the way through the forecast as our summer weather continues. Back to the 80s we go for next week. Each and every day, there will be small chances for late-day pop-up storms. That's your forecast.